To love someone does not mean you're willing to go through thick and thin to, with them in order to show commitment. To love someone truly means that you love yourself. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't love someone without loving yourself first. And you have to learn to love yourself first because without learning to love yourself first, you're going to forget what you want commitment for and what you are committed for. And if you can't identify what you are committed for and what you want in life and so on and so forth out of the love that you have for yourself, how do you expect to provide that same commitment to someone else? Love is not about being there for each other 24-7 or sharing sweet notes or romantic and all that. No, you guys got to understand that is the romantic fiction of love. Love is being able to let someone go because you know that you're not ready. Love is willing to learn from the mistakes that you had in your previous relationships and grow from them. Love is being able to admit that yourself still needs to grow and that you're not ready for commitment. That is what true love is. Because if you're committed to you and finding who you are, you're going to be committed to the person and finding who they are and how they are important to your life. You don't need to depend on a romantic fiction about love because at the end of the day, that's going to give you a false narrative of what love is. Listen, everybody has experienced love in whole different ways. I truly understand that. But most of the ways that you have experienced if you are younger than 28 or, tw or 30, let's say, just to narrow it down, if you haven't experienced love if you've experienced love prior to that age, probably the love that you've experienced was a romantic fiction that you were led into or a romantic fiction that you wanted to fight for. I know that from experience because some people decide to stay in a relationship because it's the Catholic thing to do, let's say. So you guys got to understand, most of the romantic love that we are fed today it's fed by religion. It's fed by capitalist beliefs that make you buy because they think and they make you think that the only way to love is by giving things. When in reality, that's not even the beginning to it. 